Hi guys, I'm going to show you two ways how to make this pinwheel pastry. The materials you'll need are a rolling device. I'm using a pasta machine. You'll need some blades. Um, this clay that I showed you how to make in a previous tutorial. Brushes. Acrylic paint. Liquid Fimo. TLS, clear nail varnish, and gloss varnish, needle tools, and some kind of oil, water, pastels, sand, which is optional, an eye pin, a toothbrush, the fruit that you want for the center. Now what you want to do is you want to start conditioning your clay. Now what you want to do is you want to roll it out on the fifth largest setting, fold it in half and smooth it out. Um, if you're not using a pasta machine, just roll it out to about an eighth of an inch thick and then cut them into squares. Begin to texture your square using the dull side of the blade um, mark each corner to corner where you would go you don't have to do this step and then take this sharp part and cut in about a halfway from the center and then use your yellow ochre to color the entire pastry on both sides and then use a rust color for the edges just a little bit more than just the edge and then use a dark brown for the edges for the crusty or parts I guess the more cooked parts and also use this on the sides For the first part, we're using liquid female, so you just squirt a little liquid female on your workplace and add in a purple pastel, a light blue pastel, and s <laughs> some red pastel. Mix it together and then just blow away the excess. And then add in your fruit. I'm using blueberries, that's why I use the purpley sauce colorish thing. <laughs> um, I needed a little bit more tea or not tea, uh, liquid fimo in there. Now just take your berries and place them into the center of your pastry. Now what you want to do is you want to fold up either corner and then just keep the same corner being folded up as you see here. Like if you fold up the left corner like I do, always fold up the left corner when you turn it. I'm just adding some more sauce and some berries just for more realistic. Now for part two is without liquid female and you'll just need some clear nail varnish and just do the same thing that you did for the other pastel. TLS does not work in this case and I will show you that at the end. Just incorporate this as well and blow with the excess.
This seems to be a little bit runnier, but as it sets, it thickens up. Now just add in your desired fruit and mix them in as well. And just put them into the center. And just fold up the corners like the same as last time. I usually always do the same corner. It's just easier for me to do the left corner. I don't know why. Now just take some TLS and some white pastels and incorporate the white pastels in. I usually add a little bit more white pastel just to make sure that um, it comes out white and not kind of transparent or translucent. Oh, my bad. And then if you look at it, it looks really, really thick. We want to glaze, so what you want to do is add in some oil. I spilt mine everywhere, as you can tell, but I still used that. And it's just scented, like fruit, mulberry, I think. So, yeah. You can use any kind of oil, essentially. Now you can see it's a lot more runny. Now we're just going to use this as the uh, the glazy icing stuff over it. You can be as messy or as neat as you want. I prefer to be messier because the more messy that you are, the more realistic that this can turn out to be. So I'm not doing this in any particular pattern. I'm just adding it where I think it should be. And now I'm just adding in an eye pin. You can trim it down to size if you want. But it, I didn't. Now just add white sand. I don't know why I had that in there twice. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just add in the white sand. Now you bake them, and after you bake it, you add in water. See, I did the same thing with the water. And just add in a little bit of acrylic paint and a lot of water, and make it like really runny paint. <laughs> Because you're not going to need a lot of it. And just go around the edges with the uh, brown acrylic paint. And then take your Sculpey glaze and glaze the icing and the berries in the inside. And you're done. These guys are the ones that I used with Female Liquid and the Clear Nail Varnish. And this one is the one I made with TLS for the center. As you can tell, it does not work out the way you want it to. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.